Hello everybody and welcome back to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me for another Sims Mobile Let's Play. And today we are going to do what I promised last time. We're going to move Cody into a new career line and uh, see how things play out for him. I think I'm going to move him into the restaurant because uh, he is such a good home cook. We're going to see if it works out as well for him in the career field. So let's go to him where he is at work now. And see what happens. All right, Mr. Cody, let's see. I forget how to switch careers. So, oh, do I have to? Okay. Do I have to delete the the career? I thought there was a way to say start a new career without deleting his old career. But apparently I'm going to have to. Oh, okay, perfect. So we want to go to culinary. Yes, I know. I cannot let go of Cody. And you guys, I'm sorry. I know some of you think I should move on, but... You know what? I'm curious to see as The Sims Mobile evolves what I can do with a family that I've had for this long. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. Uh, you know, I want to play it out as long as I can. And since I can, I'm gonna. So there we go. Wait a minute. Why, if he is in the culinary career, oh, it's just telling me there's an event out here. Nice. All right. Well, we're not going to do that, though. We're going to start him in his job. And we're going to start him with just a one-hour event here. And see what he can do. Start cooking up that food, Cody. Good thing is, because we're so far advanced in the game, we start out with some pretty good uh, star coverage for everything that's in the restaurant. So Cody's not starting completely at zero, even though he's starting at zero. Yeah. But see, so we, I wonder, I'm hoping we can level up, but I don't know if we can or not. So, because I'm thinking probably not, because that's why I had to take uh, Miss Girl here out of that career and put her in the doctoring career. But I'm still, like I said, I'm just, ooh, Haley got up to 13. Nice. What do we get? A new meta, let's see what that is. An x-ray machine, I think. Is it? I wasn't paying attention to what it said, if it was just a decoration, or is it something we can interact with? Oh, it is. Awesome. Ooh, look, 16, we get the surgery table. Girl, I hope you can go to 16. Let's see. Let's put it on this wall. Nice. He, what? going to cost me 125 I didn't even notice that but yeah okay ouch but I'm down so what can she do with it let's put her in a event and see what happens can she do anything with it or did I just pay 125 for nothing probably <laughs> no it was in the medical career so things will probably happen with it we'll see down the line but it's cool even though it cost 125 dollars so we'll let her do her thing let's go check out mr cody we got to get him moving on this career i don't want to keep making food though let's not make food and say we did we'll go interact with some of these customers like Cody with his gray hair he totally blends in with his chef uniform I do wish we could like change their uniforms give them a whole different look that'd be kind of cool there we go. wow he did really good on his first risky challenge not bad mr. Cody he's such an overachiever though was it anything we didn't expect not really. Oh, she's cute. 
He apparently is very excited talking to her. Aw. Look at him. He's defeated. I'm going to guess we failed this one. Why is she frozen? Are they all frozen? Oh, my God. <laughs> A little bug here, I think. Can I get out of this? Oh, good. Okay. That was pretty funny. I have to say, I like that kind of stuff. Did we end this? Nope. We still have to do a little more. Okay. But it, let's see. Where did Cody go? Oh, he's over at the sink. Sorry. I was stuck because it looked like the, the waitress girl was still like frozen. Like she was just standing there going, I don't know what I'm doing here. All right. He's going to level up through this career pretty fast. It looks like he's almost to level one. Sorry, I had to take a drink. My throat was getting a little raw. So you guys, I've had a lot of people requesting that I do more Let's Plays of The Sims Mobile. And um, I've been kind of drawing them out a little bit on purpose, mostly because a lot of new gameplay hasn't been added um, to the game recently. And also because I wanted to kind of keep things fresh. And I know that, um, you know, this just launched in Australia. So if you're in Australia, run to your app store and get it. It is soft launch in that category or in that area now. And that is really cool. We're going to have a, probably more soft launches, I would imagine, before it officially gets out. Um, but if you haven't already seen, I posted a video last week uh, that was talking about signing up for uh, kind of pre-registering to be a to get notification when The Sims Mobile launches. And if you get signed up, you'll get notification. If you play within like the first two weeks, you're gonna get some really special gear in game that you'll only be able to get for free at that time. I don't even know if it's stuff that you'll be able to buy or if we can buy it now. Actually, we'll keep freezing in these risky interactions. Hang on a second, let's get through this and see. But anyway, let's go in. Um, okay, so he leveled up to two. That was pretty nice and easy. But let's go into the, the customized sim area and, oh, well, let's turn him into a girl for a minute. <laughs> I just want to see if the shirt, no, oh, maybe you don't, maybe you can't get it. Okay. Oh, no, I think it's this one here. I think that's the shirt you get for free uh, for the girls. And then empty cart. Oh, no, we want to go back to being a boy. And then uh, for the boys, it was, if I can remember. Oh, I don't think I'm going to remember. It was like a, it was like a shirt. I thought it was kind of like a bohemian style. Oh, well, I don't remember what it is, but you'll have to go watch that video. Um, you can click on this here and it will, it'll take you to it. Uh, return. We just want to exit. Uh, and check it out. It's pretty cool. And pre-registration is really easy. Um, you just click the link in the description of the video and you can sign up and then you'll get notified as soon as it's available because I know a lot of you ask me, you know, where is it? Why can't I play it? Why can't I download this game? And, you know, the answer truly is just that you can't because it's not really out there yet for everybody. It is only in certain areas. Now, there are ways. I mean, if you Google it, you'll find ways to get your hands on it ahead of time. But it, some are easier than others, and it depends on what platform you play on. And if you just want to wait until it comes out, then the pre-registration is the best way to make sure you don't miss out on that launch. So anyway, that is why I in a very long roundabout way, why I have not been doing a lot of Let's Plays. I'm gonna try to do at least one Sims Mobile video a week. It is not 
any lack of love for this game because I'm still absolutely obsessed. Um, I'm so obsessed with my family here that I don't want to let them go. I want to see how it plays out, even though, oh, that was really quick. Um, I want to I want to see how it plays out, even though I know I can't add any more adults to the house. And I haven't quite decided, you know, which route I'm going to go with that. I haven't retired anybody yet because I don't want to lose either or any of them. All four family members are ready for retirement. I don't want to lose any. I'd like to see if and, and guys, I know nothing. So this is just my hope is that we can spin off some of these family members and take them and like have them as separate gameplay, you know, cause in Sims free play, we can play multiple characters and you unlock more characters as you go on. Now this is a different engine. So I don't know if that is going to be the case down the line with this, but I don't want to retire any of these guys in the chance that that becomes a reality because I don't want to be like, Oh, I don't have them anymore. And I would really like to see how they, you know, play through their lives and so forth. So that being said, as soon as I finish this event with Miss Haley, I am going to go back to the house because Crystal has some kiddos that are ready to age up. And I thought we would do that today. Uh, age them up and see what Raiden and Crystal are doing over in the house. They're still working on their uh, hobbies. I come in and play the game every day, at least once a day, and set them on you know, a job just so that they can keep moving up, even though I'm not playing them as often right now, because uh, I want them to succeed in everything that they do, and I want you guys to be along for the ride with that, which is why I'm not playing too hard without you. So don't worry about that. I'm not moving up too much without taking you along for the ride. So, all right, girl, come on. Man, I think she needs to go back to training for that because she's stinking at that. All right, my other computer is just making its own noises. Sorry about that. Not really sure what it's beefing at me for, but whatevs. All right. So if you're in Australia, I would absolutely love to know if you've gotten your hands on this game. Also Ireland, it's out in Ireland. I believe it is in Brazil is where it started. Uh, I think that I was told it's also in Spain. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But if you're playing this and you're in one of those soft launch areas, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking of the game. Let me know how long you've been playing. And, you know, if you have been enjoying it, if you will continue playing long term, if you're as obsessed with it as I am. Because honestly, I think this is probably one of the best mobile games to hit the market. And when this launches worldwide, it's going to be amazing. So once we can play with everybody and having met the team behind the game, I have no doubt that this game is only going to continue to get better. And I'm so excited to see like what the future holds with this because the team behind this is freaking amazing. Like absolutely off the charts. Amazing. I, if I could just spend hours and hours and hours talking with them about this game, I would be Oh my God, like just in complete and utter heaven, because seriously, guys, I'm obsessed with this. So I'm glad you guys that are following my channel are as obsessed with I with it as I am and keep asking me to play this because um, I'm going to put Haley, sorry, I'm interrupting myself, but I'm going to put Haley on an eight hour because I have to come back to her later today. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited that you guys are as obsessed as I am that you want me to keep playing it because... I would keep playing it and recording it without you, but with you is way more fun. So, all right, Cody, I'm going to let you do that. And then I'm going to go, let's go check out Crystal's little girls and see what's happening. All right. So Crystal was in a hobby event. And you see she's, she's working on it, but both of the girls are ready to age up. So... Let's have her come over here and age up 
the daughter. Wait, I thought that was a little girl. Oh, it is. She just has really short hair. Look how cute she is. Like a little tomboy. You know who she reminds me of? She reminds me of Eleven. <laughs> so cute. Okay, she's tired. Okay. All right, well, let's go age this one up. See what we get. Oh, my little pigtails. Okay. So now we have um, family social events. So since our other daughter is sleeping, we'll do this one. And this will help uh, the kids actually with their, with their, um, oh, what is the word I'm looking for? With their futures. This will help. <laughs> I'm blanking with their traits. So, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Don't do that. Oh, my God. Thank goodness they have that fail safe built in. I would cry if I accidentally retired her. I can't actually look at the kids' traits right now because I can't play them. That's another thing is, you know, eventually I'd like to to play these. Oh, I love this interaction. It's so cute. <laughs> you guys are adorable. Adorable. I wish that check mark wasn't in the way because that would make a cute thumbnail. So cute. Something else I'm really hoping for eventually is like a screenshot um, function in here so we can do it without these check marks and stuff over their heads. But we're helping our daughter. Okay, so this should show us her traits now. All right, so she's got two out of three stars, so we'll keep working on that with her. I think they get one star. Oh, good, she's awake. They get one star for each level. So... She is so cute. Aw, cheer her up. Oh, you know what I should check, too, when we're done with this? I'll check and see if we can randomly change their clothes if that's been fixed. Because I don't know that I have tried that since the last update came out. You know, I think the next year is just going to be absolutely amazing for this. I'm really excited to see, like, when they start stuff, which I'm assuming, again, I know nothing. So I hope you guys don't take any of my assumptions as um, as gospel because I don't know anything. But I'm assuming that they will have themed things coming down the line for, like, holiday. Oh, Crystal got promoted. Nice. She didn't even go to work. Congratulations, Crystal. Um, but I've, I'm excited to see how that plays out because it would be fun. You know, I've been playing all these other games that have big holiday events. Like we just finished Thanksgiving and stuff. And uh, let's see if we can change clothes. Did it work? Yeah, good. Okay. Even though we might want to put her back in the jeans. Yeah, just because it is winter. Let's see what we can do for the little one. Oh, good. Everybody's kind of dressed more appropriately for the season. Um, but yeah, so everybody's been having like their holiday theme stuff. Halloween, Thanksgiving. Now we're in December, so we're probably looking at some Christmas stuff coming. And I would love to have that kind of stuff happening in this game. Because I can't even imagine how adorable the animations and things would be. All right, so let's get Haley started on we're gonna give her an eight hour too because i won't be able to come back now what i think is interesting is i mean did i say Haley? i'm sorry i meant crystal um that her husband emory is just still hanging out here so he even though he's not a playable character since they're married he has stayed in the house he's usually just standing in this room uh, but occasionally he goes elsewhere and let's look at our family portrait here. So, I mean, you can kind of see he's in the background here with the kids. And then we've got the main family members. I do like that. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh. I forgot all about that. Olivia was the last one. 
I don't like that it's saying it's the stalling family. That's interesting. Or maybe it, that's what it's supposed to be. I'm sorry. Yes, okay. So then this fam this name should not be the same, but I feel like if I change it to for this generation because it should be the Corcoran family, which I'm going to change it anyway, but I feel like it should whatever whatever generation is. Let's try that. Corcoran Okay, now if I go back, I'll see it changes. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, well. We'll stay since it's Cody's the head of the household. This should be back to that. So, let's go back to this family portrait here. Just take a closer look. I love it. Uh, I am still missing a fireplace, and I, I miss that. So if you're playing and your fireplace is gone, I think that is a game removal. I wish it was there because nothing better in the winter than a crackling fireplace. But we did get this cute little heirloom case, which I definitely like. So, all right, let's just go ahead over here to our man, Jaden. Jaden. Golly, I, I need to get off of here today because obviously I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's rename him. No, his name is Raiden, not Jaden. Oh, I was taking Jace and Raiden and kind of intermixing the two of them. So I'm just going to let him. He's still just working on his hobby. He's just slowly moving up. Um, he's still, let's watch him for a minute because he's still not any better. We'll have him do this, but you'll see that. He's not, he's not progressing very well. He's still, if you watch him long enough, will collapse on himself. Oh, well, maybe I should bite my tongue. He's got some nice moves happening right there. Let's see. Uh, let's test his flamingo balance and see how that is. All right, good, good, good. Good to know I'm not that far off track. He's still got a little bit of a ways to go. But, you know, hey, he's working on it. That's all that matters, right? And look at those muscles. I mean, who couldn't just sit here and watch him work on his yoga all day? I can. Yes, I know he's pixelated. I'm just saying. All right. So he's 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 working. He's staying in shape. And that was pretty good risky business there, dude. All right. So you guys, with that, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap up this quick little Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. And there will be more, I promise. We'll be back next week and check in on Cody, see how he's doing with his career, and uh, go from there. So, as always, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. And if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button because there is more coming. And uh, I'll see you guys again real soon. Have a great one.